This sweet little video is protected by fair use. It is not for profit. It's for free. It is for the purposes of commentary and criticism. And maybe some comedy, too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. After living 20 years in America and 20 years in Thailand, I have finally just moved back home to Maine, USA, at 40 years old, ready to begin my midlife crisis. <laughs> Jokes aside, I'm actually very happy to be home and won't be having any midlife crises because I've always listened to my intuition, followed my heart, and lived my purpose. Going forward, I hope to continue my online activism writing books, making videos, doing interviews, answering questions. should watch the Sandy Machine videos more often, Eric, and just parrot a lot of the things I've been saying about the suffering in this realm, the soul trap. been on YouTube for many years. I didn't hear you saying any of that stuff until my channel came along. It's kind of interesting. Make more videos on the topic, but be sure you... Uh, mention the sanity machine you've mentioned other channels that are shill channels okay you've mentioned forever con man research you know the guy are you gonna talk about me again my big nose my big nose my tiny tiny hat my my nasally nasally voice <laughs> i love those shekels i you know me, I love those shackles. I love them, I love them, I love them. And Dan the Yes Man from Overwatch. And Wayne Bush. Wayne's World. <laughs> mention them. I've heard you mention them. And yet a lot of the stuff when it comes to suffering in this realm and, you know, the design of this realm... It seems like it came straight from my channel because they don't talk about a lot of that stuff. They talk about we consented and we chose this. That's what they push. You're going to start pushing their message too? All reading from the same script? Eric? Erica? <laughs> Fine to love animals, but you really push your veganism agenda too. The NWO diet. Some, it's made a lot of people really sick. Some have lost their teeth. Malnutrition. There's proof of this. It's made some very, very sick. Because one diet is not one size fits all. We're different. Biologically, physiologically, we're different. I know that's hard for some of you leftists to get through. Through your brains. It's very difficult for you. We're different. We're not all the same. We're not all the same. You should build a pedestal for this guy, for his cult followers that just worship the living shit out of him. All of his materials from others. The Flat Earth stuff is from old Flat Earth books from the late 1800s. All right? and everything else I've been doing for the past 15 years. It's been a challenge to maintain a living through other means, but I've always made it work, and throughout this time, have always, and will always, give away all my books and materials for free, in article, audiobook, and video formats, along with paid paperback options purchased by generous supporters. If possible, I'd like to put my full time and effort into this work, and several kind souls have expressed a desire to help fund my activism. Towards this goal, I've recently created a Patreon with- Oh, okay. Now he's going on Patreon. Interesting. Interesting. Yoga and veganism is a big part of him, what he does. He used to push oneness type of stuff, or we're all bits and pieces of God. What God are you talking about? And now he's starting to see God as a monster. I wonder where he got that from. 
I wonder, I wonder where he got some of these concepts from. It's on video. I made a video previously showing him, and it's like, it sounds so familiar. It's like the words came almost straight out of my mouth. But his fans, of course, can't take it when they hear that. Because most truthers want idols. They want to be followers and they want leaders. They want gods. They want false idols and false gods. Like this guy. They view him as a god. Eric Dubé. True. Look at this. It's about time you accepted monetary donations. You deserve it. You're the best, Eric. Glad to see you back in the States. Well, at the, what America's going through, who would move back to America? You get what I'm saying? If you were able to live abroad? You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he's so awake, right? He's just so, so woke, I could say. So woke. <laughs> You're a legend, Eric. Look at the praise. Welcome home. We can use all the level, oh, I see what they did there, level-headed people we can get. I realize as I'm making this video, as I'm recording it, some people will watch this and say, you sound jealous of Dubé, or you sound, no, not at all, not at all. But I try, if I'm quoting someone or getting ideas from someone, I try to give them credit. Make an effort to do that. I don't just pawn it off my own ideas so I came up with it and so suddenly after he's been making I don't know how long he's been doing this 10 years all of a sudden he starts talking about the exact same things that I have been talking about on my channel and I seem to be basically one of the only ones that you'll find talking about certain topics the way that I do and it just sounded so familiar in that interview so yeah it's interesting Interesting. I know I keep saying that. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Look at all the links here. He's just independent. How does he do all this? Just all on his own. This is Patreon set apart. But here's all the other ways to get connected. Does this guy have more than 24 hours in a day? Like, what is all this? You know? So I'm going to check out his Patreon. And we'll take a nice little look at that. We'll take a look-see. Okay, okay, people. Here we are on Eric Dubé's Patreon. Oh, dear. Water level. Just want to make sure you see this. Some really paranoid people that show up once in a while where they're blind, they're half blind. Take a good look. Eric Dubé, there he is. This is his Patreon. Select membership level. Water level, $7.50 a month. Earth level, $14.50 a month. Sky level, $28.50 a month. Jesus Christ. 2850 you should go up to 50 maybe a hundred dollars a month general support what's that mean what is all this stuff flat earth memes <laughs> i used to make those and spend a lot of time and give them away for free on facebook for years look at this eric saying basically Hey everyone, I, I don't want a job. I don't want to do anything. I just want to do this and you just pay me. <laughs> so that's what he wants to do. That's what he wants to do. Do you want to pay him? Praising him isn't enough. You got to pay him. Tiers of membership that supporters can pledge, each with their own perks, such as priority direct messaging and special digital downloads. Okay, I'm going to replay that again just for a second to make sure got what he said here. This is very important stuff, people. My activism. Towards this goal, 
I've recently created a Patreon with several tiers of membership that supporters can pledge, each with their own perks such as priority direct messaging and special digital downloads. For the first 30 patrons, who complete their second month as God-level members, I'm also giving away a hand-autographed copy of one of my books delivered to your door. Wow, hand-autographed copy. He's appealing to your emotions here with these, uh, these pictures of children holding up the books. And grown men covering their faces with the books, you know, showing their eyes. I don't know, that kind of... I never liked that kind of stuff, but it's another one. Looks looks kind of creepy, but there you go. That's what they do. Up all tatted up. It's like prison ink. Looks terrible. I could scribble better than that with a sharpie with a blindfold on, but whatever. I'm sure, people will just say, "Hey, you're just picking on them. You're cyberbullying," and they'll start crying their soy boy eyes out. You know, some people in this quote community they need to toughen up, or they're just going to get. I I can't say what's going to happen to them when they face entities outside of your entities, but if they're crying over my comments that are meant to be entertaining and comical on a YouTube video, then uh, they might have some issues. They might have some issues here, and they might have some issues coming up beyond, beyond here. So here's Dubai. Interaction are the key currencies that allow access to the almighty algorithm. So by subscribing, then always liking, commenting, and sharing my videos is the best way to ensure growth. If people have social media accounts, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Gab, MeWe, Minds, and others, be sure to subscribe to me there, and anytime you can, like, comment, and share links across different platforms to help reach new Okay, this one saying right here, are you sick of the lies? Yeah, I am. This really sucked if you watched it. Really sucked as far as I'm concerned. But are you sick of the lies? Yeah, but it goes beyond what they show you with the round, spinning, floating, wobbling ball with curved oceans, bend, bendy water. It goes so far beyond that. I am sick of the lies. I'm sick of being here, though. Will flat earth, will knowing the earth is flat and not a spinning, wobbling ball get you out of the matrix? Nope. Nope. Not at all. In fact, many that are in this, quote, community, flat earthers, believe in a creator, a loving, kind creator, and that this is God's plan and God's design. And Oh, it says so in the Bible, so, you know. This is God's footstool, <laughs> you know. Earth is God's footstool, so. In other words, they're going to get recycled. Uh, let me spell it out for you. Knowing flat earth is not going to get you out of here. It's not enough. It's not enough. So when they say it's the only truth or the most important truth, wrong. If you don't know about the soul trap and how to get out, you're going to get recycled. It's as simple as that. So most of Dubay's followers are going to get recycled. Oh, and by the way, he's just a small channel, right? Nobody's propping him up or helping him on YouTube. 188,000 subscribers. There you go. For the ones that can see, for the ones that can't see, there's going to be no convincing you. You'll just say, well, he doesn't have 10 million. You know, but how do you get 188,000? And it isn't the stupid answer... He's been on YouTube for years. It still doesn't add up. You don't get it. You don't get how many truth channels on YouTube over a decade, around a decade ago, and then again, maybe eight years ago, there were huge purges, thousands of YouTube channels. Just overnight, in one night, we're just gone. Gone. They can get rid of your channel. Like some people that are just viewers of YouTube, 
They don't get it. They don't understand it. And it does become tedious having to tell them the same things over and over and over again. Just like people saying, where's the comments? Where's my comments? YouTube does that. Some of you must be really new to this stuff. I don't know, like, what is it? You don't get it? You don't get that they, that they can censor whatever they want? I don't control that. I don't control YouTube. I don't own YouTube. Google does. You know, it, it's one of the biggest corporations on earth, if not the biggest. It's right up there. It's in the top three still, for sure. They censor. Is that a big fucking shock? And then some people are shocked. Oh, well, they, why are comments shut off? Well, YouTube does that. I don't do that. Okay? I have to battle with YouTube. I have to spend my time battling with YouTube, and then I get questioned by people on my own channel. That's, you know what I'm saying? It just makes me shake my head. So I, I know why there aren't a lot of high-level channels. There's many reasons, but that's one of them. People don't want to deal with the stupidity. They don't want to deal with the tedious day-to-day -day stuff where it's like, figure it out. It's not that hard. It's YouTube. YouTube removes my fucking comments on my own channel. Do you not understand this? Why is that so difficult to understand? I don't get that. I don't get why people cannot. They're so baffled by that. Do you think I'm sitting at my keyboard watching for comments and removing them all day long, day and night, and that I don't, that I don't sleep? Do you think I'd waste my fucking time doing that? If somebody's just a complete asshole and completely worthless and rude and just a piece of shit, I ban them. I don't sit there deleting their comments. I just ban them from the channel. Other than that, no comments get removed. Unless you get banned. Then when you ban someone, YouTube automatically removes every comment that they posted within like 24 hours or something from the channel. So all their comments vanish. It's like they were never there. That's what YouTube does when you ban someone. It's how it works. It's automatic. It's not even my choice. We don't have all the choices in the world as content creators on YouTube with a YouTube channel. Man, this stuff is just, it's elementary and it's tedious having to explain it and just, you know, mention it over and over and over again. That's what I don't like having to do. I never like jobs like that, having a job where you have to do that. And I don't like that part of YouTube. Because there's always people that just don't get it. Okay? If your comments are missing, again, it's not me. It's not me. It's YouTube. It's YouTube doing that. On other channels. It happens to me on other channels. And it happens to my comments on my own channel. And sometimes I'll reply to a comment, let's say reply to this here. And my comment reply will end up down here to this person or to flat earth eric or you know this next one wherever it misplaces comments sometimes too i've seen that happen like where'd my comment go after i replied i can't click reply it's like it's gone but it it, it moved it so you could say well youtube has glitches well they didn't for a fucking decade so what's going on now why is it all falling apart now you have to ask yourself these questions should ask yourself these questions because it wasn't as glitchy years ago as it is today. So why are these glitches around month after month after month? You think nobody's reported it? There's probably thousands of people that have reported this shit. You might want to hear Instead of saying it's a bug, it's a glitch. I've been hearing that since last year, setting up my channel, like early December last year, posting videos. Oh, it's a glitch. And it's still not fixed? And it's summer? Are you fucking nuts? You think it takes that long to fix a fucking glitch when you have a huge, huge company with probably more programmers, coders, uh, guys that are working on bug detection, detecting bugs, fixing glitches, patching up code, whatever, of anyone? I mean, what, what are you talking about, dude? You know, what are you talking about? So that's the level, unfortunately, that's the level that there's a percentage of, quote, truthers that are at that level. And I, I can't help you, okay? If you can't figure out stuff like that, and you know, that a glitch can last for years on YouTube, a, a huge social media platform, and you think that, that bugs and glitches are just going to stay there, not patched up forever, 
You've got issues. You've got mental issues. You really do. Okay? You really do. You seriously do. And if you can't see through that and think your way through that, oh my, you know, uh, good luck. Good luck with what's ahead. I don't wish any harm upon you, but man, I think you're going to be fucked. That's what I think. So anyway, I'm going to end this here on a good number, on a magical, magical number here. Wait for it. 